Hi guys, so today I want to talk a little bit about Kibby's rules and basically breaking Kibby's rules in a way that is um, thought out and a way that's um, a bit knowledgeable about, you know, why the rules exist and, and things like that. And, you know, before I get started, I want to say this and it's that, you know, every type wants to look often the opposite of what they look like. So, you know, soft gamines and romantics want to look taller and larger, dramatics want to look less angular, naturals want to look less wide, you know, all of this stuff. So I am planning to do a series on all of the types or, and you know, classics want to look less balanced, you know, everything, every single type wants to look different sometimes and I think there's definitely nothing wrong with that and I think there is a way to achieve that. So that's what this video is all about. So obviously I'm using Kibby's book Metamorphosis and I am taking all of that information that he shared in his book about the lines that all of these body types should wear. But uh, I'm also exploring what happens when a certain body type actually wears another body type's lines and can you ever wear another body type's lines and what kind of an effect will that give you? So let's get started. So I call that artistic license. This is not to be confused with my color system which is called artistic license. This is obviously still Kibby's system and I'm just using the term artistic license to describe sort of, you know, when you know the rules of something, then you can break them in a stylistic way to achieve a certain effect. And you can see this um, caricature by Steve Roberts and you can see that we can still tell that it's Marilyn Monroe, but at the same time, you know, he used a lot of artistic license, a lot of his own style to express that. So that's what I am hoping to do through this video. So we are going to start with Kara Knightley and she is dramatic on Kibby's list and she looks her personal best in um, angular lines, long vertical line, geometrics because her bone structure as well as her flesh are all quite yang. So her unique femininity is best described through wearing quite angular clothes and she can look quite, you know, have a bit of a mysterious look and look quite interesting. And because the angles and lines of the dramatic clothing recommendations are going to mimic those of her body, she's going to look the most harmonious in the dramatic clothing recommendations. But let's say she's, you know, she's like, you know, I know I look great wearing dramatic lines, but I want to look a bit more dainty. I want to look smaller. I want to look more dainty. That's just how I'm feeling today. You know, what should I wear? So most of the time, and you know, I wouldn't say that this is what she was thinking because I can't pretend to know what she was what she's thinking in general, you know, but most of the time girls will do this, right? So they're going to wear very dainty and very small and cute clothing and think that, oh, hey, you know, I'm going to look really quite dainty. But at the same time, I feel like these three examples look a bit separate from Kira. They're a bit too far from her natural lines, a bit, well, from her inherent lines, not natural. She's a dramatic, but they're a bit too far from her inherent lines that she has within her body, so it looks quite separate from her. So from left to right, we have soft natural on Kira Knightley. Um, in the middle, we have a soft gamine dress on Kira, and on the right, we have uh, primarily a soft gamine dress, maybe with some elements of classic there on Kira, and I think she looks, um, those, those pieces look a bit separate from her. So uh, what can Kara do if she really wants to make her, her skeleton and her body appear more dainty? So in my opinion, Kara can try wearing some flamboyant natural lines. Now I know what you're thinking, maybe not that intuitive. However, um, here's my reasoning behind this. So dramatic and flamboyant natural do have some similarities. So in the middle there, you can see that they share some sharp angularity. So of course, dramatic has more sharpness than flamboyant natural. At the same time, that sharp angularity of the flamboyant natural lines is going to make it such that the lines don't look too separate from Kiera. 
At the same time, the width of the of the natural lines is going to make Kira's bones seem daintily delicate, seem much smaller and much more narrow than they actually are in contrast to the width of the natural lines. So for those of you who ever wonder, you know, why do naturals uh, look great in unconstructed or wider silhouettes? Well, it's to mimic the width in their skeleton. So that wider silhouette means basically a looser sil silhouette and then therefore the width of their skeleton is mimicked by that uh the the looser silhouette as well but that is a whole other discussion now let's take a look at you know what happens when someone with dramatic bones so not very wide bones like kira wears flamboyant natural lines so we can see here, um, I think Kira, especially on the left and in the middle, I mean, especially in the middle, Kira looks really quite dainty and quite small and delicate. And I think she looks much more delicate and small in that middle picture than she did in the dresses that I showed that were more uh, the soft gamine lines or some soft natural lines or something like that. And, you know, it's because the width of that silhouette is going to make her bones seem smaller. At the same time, you know, it has some sharp angularity to not look so separate from her. You could say, well, that middle picture is flamboyant gamine, it's not flamboyant natural. That middle picture, I think, is closest to flamboyant natural because it's loose and unconstructed. It has a loose neckline and those pants are also quite unconstructed as well. So I think, I mean, it's the closest to, um, to flamboyant natural. Now talking about the image on the left, it's the same idea that that looser uh, silhouette is going to make her bones look thinner and therefore more delicate. And on the far right, um, you know, it's hard to say that uh, maybe that is more of a dramatic look, but since that shirt is a bit a bit looser, um, I would call it also maybe some elements like just a little bit of elements of uh, flamboyant natural there. And um, yeah, I think she just looks quite dainty and small in all of these images, especially in the middle and on the left. Okay, so what if Kira is is just like, you know what, I'm tired of the same angular look and I also don't necessarily want to look that dainty. What I want is to look even more badass. So what can she do to look even more intimidating, badass, really severe? So. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad look. I mean, sometimes people really want to look a certain way. And, you know, I'm here to, to offer my opinion on how this can happen. So here we have Kira Knightley wearing a soft dramatic hairstyle. Now, you might think, well, you know, this is not a soft dramatic hairstyle. This is, you know, romantic or something like that. No, this is soft dramatic because it has large large uh, curved geometric shapes, right? So it has large curved shapes, not small curved shapes. And in contrast, her skin looks even more taut, but at the same time, the largeness of the shapes is going to pick up on her angular skeleton and her large bones, and therefore it's not going to look too separate from her. So I think she looks super intimidating, super badass in that photo on the left, and when you compare it to Sophia Loren, of course, it looks more harmonious with Sophia Loren uh, because Sophia has the softness, the large, uh, the large yin also to mimic that hair. So now I want to get to the next point and it's that all yin is not the same yin. So the yin on the romantic and the gamine is going to be small and rounded because of the small skeleton. And the yin on the dramatic and the natural is going to be large and rounded because of the large skeleton. So it's really um, important to keep that in mind. And I think that's why uh, that hairstyle on Kira, even though she's dramatic, not soft dramatic, did not look as separate on her. So when you take a look at a similar hairstyle on Drew Barrymore, who is a romantic, you can really see the difference and you can see how that entire look on Drew Barrymore actually looks quite separate from her. So all yin is not the same. So, you know, a romantic wearing soft dramatic clothes, remember soft dramatic is a subset 
it's it's one of the categories of dramatic so a soft dramatic is closer to dramatic than a romantic a romantic is very far from dramatic and very far from soft dramatic so that hairstyle even though you know drew's flesh is very soft and she's very curvy and, and you know etc because she's a romantic that rounded hairstyle and also that dress they both look very separate from her so you can see that they what they also did was they added um they i think they were trying to make her hair look rounded and large and to tie in the geometric the the rounded shapes at the bottom of that blue dress that drew's wearing but those lines are too large on drew so there is uh there is some yang almost embedded in the yin of the of the soft dramatic and of the soft natural and that sort of sort of yang that's embedded into the the soft natural and soft dramatic lines is that the the yin itself is larger so keep that in mind and um yeah look out for that as you are choosing your clothing so let's go back to Karen Knightley. So you can see on the left, she is wearing a soft dramatic hairstyle. Now, some people will say, well, no, this is uh, soft natural or natural because it looks a bit messy. You have to really look at the shape of the hair. The shape of the hair still has those large curved lines and that is soft dramatic. So on the left, I feel like she looks much more angular um, and much more yang than she does on the right. And I was thinking on the right well you know maybe the the lighting is different or maybe her makeup is different and that's why she looks um more soft on the right but upon closer inspection the lighting is actually more severe on the right and she's also wearing an under eye shadow um in in the left image as well so both of those images they have similar makeup styles although there's more makeup on the left but at the same time her with the with the flamboyant natural hair uh, she is looking a bit softer with that a bit more delicate in my opinion now of course you know i'm not sure that you can wear this hair to work or anything but uh, it's just an example so for a dramatic to look um, quite severe and more badass, they could do soft dramatic, and if they want to look softer, they can do flamboyant natural. Now, let's move on to Tilda Swinton. Tilda Swinton is also dramatic, and you can see her looking quite dainty in this, uh, in this flamboyant natural shirt. And this shirt is, of course, flamboyant natural because it's very loose and that looseness and the width of the silhouette makes Tilda look quite delicately sharp rather than angular and large. So the very large oversized shirt with some angularity, it's important for it to have some angularity so that it doesn't look separate. That's why I say flamboyant natural, not simply natural lines. So some angularity is important to tie in to the angularity of the dramatic so that the clothes don't look separate. But anyway, Tilda really looks quite delicately sharp here in my opinion. So let's move on to soft dramatics. So, you know, how can they wear other lines to achieve a different look if they wanted to? So we're going to talk about Rachel Weiss and Kim Novak, both soft dramatics on Kibbe's list. So thinking back to what we just discussed about the dramatic and wearing flamboyant natural, what do you think I would suggest for uh, the soft dramatic to look a bit more dainty and delicate if they wanted to. I'm curious to know what you would predict. So I'll tell you what I think. I think that the soft dramatic, if they wear soft natural lines, then they will look really quite, you know, quite small and quite dainty. And that's because the, remember now, we talked about dramatic first, it's a simpler example. So the, the natural aspect in general is going to make the bones of the dramatic look dainty and small at the same time the soft natural has the yin flesh so what they have in common is the large yin curves so 
soft natural and soft dramatic both have the same large yin curves so what we're going to do when a soft dramatic wears soft natural lines is we're going to make the bones look more delicate and we will also accentuate the the yin curves as well so at the same time it won't look too separate because the yin curves are going to tie in you know are going to tie in the soft natural look into soft dramatic so it will not look too separate let me show you what i mean so here is Rachel Weiss looking her personal best in soft dramatic lines. I think these lines are going to be the most harmonious on her and it goes without saying that they perfectly complement the yin and yang balance of her body and they make her look the most unique and the most harmonious. However, let's say Rachel decides, well, but I don't want to look like a queen today. I want to look like a princess. Okay, you guys probably hate me now. But anyway, let's say she wants to look a bit more dainty. Um, so she goes for something like this where on the left we have a uh, theatrical romantic in the middle we have romantic and on the right we have soft gamine now when she wears these lines you can really see how those small uh, details and everything like that the small lines are really um, in contrast to her large bones so her bones really look um, a bit larger and especially on the right there in the soft gamine look, she does look a bit angular. But now if we take a look at her in soft natural lines, you can see that, you know, she really looks quite small, especially on the left there. Um, she looks like even her vertical line looks a bit smaller. She looks not that tall and her hands look smaller and um, she just overall, you know, the 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 curviness of that look also and the slight waist definition all of it kind of accentuates her curves as well and overall she looks quite uh, small and in fact i mean she almost looks like similar that image of her reminded me of emilia clark and emilia clark on the left here she is romantic and i don't know if i'm crazy you guys tell me if i'm crazy but she you know here we have rachel weiss soft dramatic on the right looking you know um, a bit similar to Emilia Clark a romantic and it's because she is wearing different lines you know she's not wearing what Emilia Clark is wearing and you can really see the difference so you can see that Rachel Weiss is not a romantic so here is um, you know, you can really see the difference. So Emilia Clark is truly a romantic, but in those lines, Rachel simply looked a bit more like a romantic. But when, as soon as she puts on romantic or theatrical romantic lines, you can really see uh, the contrast of her large bones against those delicate shapes. And here's another image of her in soft natural lines. And I was actually so surprised by this image. I had to do a reverse image search on Google Images just to make sure that this was her and this is her. And, you know, she looks very small here, very dainty in the soft natural lines. And, you know, you can see she looks really curvy and her bones look sharply delicate. So I think this is, um, I don't know, I think this is such a cool thing that I sort of stumbled upon that, you know, you could you could play around with the lines of different body types provided that they're not separate enough from you and achieve different looks and take a look at how dainty and small her wrists look as well relative to that uh to the soft natural lines there on uh, her hands look a bit small her wrists look a bit dainty so it's really interesting that the soft natural lines have that effect on a soft dramatic and her wrists against that soft gamine look look a bit a bit thicker and a bit broader it's really interesting it's such a cool effect and so um finally let's compare her wearing uh the the soft natural lines on the left versus soft gamine lines and you can see that uh on the on the right that dress looks really quite separate from her and her bones look really large in contrast now that's not necessarily a bad thing or a good thing it's simply it simply is that way uh but at the same time i think that when we go for a certain look like when we when we try to wear a very dainty dress or something like that we uh we want to look dainty so um you know sometimes it's not intuitive how to best achieve the look that we're going for and that's what this video is all about so finally let's move on to kim novak so kim novak is another soft dramatic on kibby's list and you can really see her large
large yang skeleton and you can see her curves as well and as soon as she puts on some soft natural lines you can see especially on the left there i mean she looks quite dainty and delicate and the sharpness in her face especially is starting to look a bit more delicately sharp rather than rather than angular um angularly sharp and so uh, i think that that soft natural nightgown on the left really um, makes her bones look more delicate but also picks up on her curves so the soft natural uh, the soft natural and the soft dramatic both have their large yin curves in common and on the right that's I would call that a soft natural um, dress maybe some elements of soft dramatic uh, it's it's the same thing you know I think she looks quite dainty there and here are two more images and again she looks very uh, very small um, on the left there and um, if you remember what what she looked like in her soft dramatic lines it's really a it's really interesting that she looks so small and dainty in these two images. And finally, we have Sofia Vergara. So Sofia Vergara is soft dramatic, and you can see on the left, she's clearly soft dramatic, um, and she looks amazing, and again, looks her personal best in soft dramatic lines. But if she's feeling like she wants to go for a different type of look, then of course, you can see her wearing the soft natural lines on the right, and really there, she looks quite dainty. I think on the right, Sophia definitely looks a bit smaller, and her bones look delicately sharp, and um, the soft natural lines also accentuate her curves, so overall, she looks a bit more like a theatrical romantic there on the right, and a bit more like a soft dramatic on the left. So that's it, you guys. Let me know, do you ever use artistic license, you know, break the rules in a stylistic way to achieve a certain result? Um, what did you think of this? So I'm thinking to make videos for uh, romantic, soft gamine, etc. to, you know, kind of how each type can achieve the opposite look of their kibby body type. So I think that would be a super interesting to thing to talk about. So let me know what you think. Um, thank you for watching.